All right, happy new year. It's a brand new year. I, I told myself I wanted to start off this year getting back on track in terms of putting stuff out every day that forces me to focus on God and his word more so than maybe I have been at certain times the last year or two. Um, it's so easy to take a day off. And, you know, so what I'm going to venture to do this year to post something each day will probably be more for me than anybody else. But if the benefit, if anything said or shared helps somebody else, then uh, praise God. You know, I'm sitting here or standing here. It's raining. I haven't had a voice in a couple of weeks because I've been battling some sort of cold or virus. Been in Baltimore for a week and uh, haven't had a clear voice the entire time. But here I am at my high school. A lot of memories behind me. You know, we got we got a, We even got an eagle logo right there on the fence of the. Uh, you know, the tennis courts, football fields on the other side. We actually got basketball hoops now. We There was so much trouble on those courts, they took the uh, hoops down. But I guess uh, they decided it was time to put them back up. You know, sometimes the world tries to protect us from ourselves. But, you know, the scripture tells us that the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Jesus told us that. And yet everything in this world says to follow your feelings, follow your gut. You know, we are our own gods. That's what the world says, but we know that we're not. You know, when we are following the world, we're being led astray. And so many things are dividing us from the love of God right now. And it's sad. There's a lack of grace. So I want to try to provide stuff each day with a biblical filter. You know, I say it every week, you know, most nights on the JD report, but I want to put a renewed emphasis on that because... There's a lot of things going on right now that people don't we're, people don't realize, and it's a it's a scary time if you don't have the peace of the Lord. So I pray as we go into this new year that you have the peace of the Lord with you, and that if you don't know Him, that you seek Him. If if you're ever feeling afraid or nervous or anxious about anything, that you seek God, not the God of this world that masquerades as an angel of light while making ourselves our own God, the love of self, we need to die to ourselves to really follow the one true God that created us, that has a purpose for us. And that purpose is in serving others. When we serve others, God serves us all. And we have that peace, that joy of the Lord that is in his eternal kingdom when we are focused on the cross. So I want to take things that are going on in the world and I want to try to put them through the right lens for anybody that might have the eyes and ears to listen. And, uh, you know, I pray God just leads me and leads you to a prosperous new year. And prosperous, I mean much peace and joy in the Lord. Because you can be happy here one day, but the next day things can change and you lose that. But you don't ever lose the joy of the Lord. So God bless you. I hope this finds you well. Happy New Year. And I look forward to being on this journey with you. See you soon.